Oh, it was an absolutely horrible day for Donald Trump. He learned that Fox was going to be releasing a poll showing that President Biden, according to the Fox poll, the Fox poll, is now the front runner in the 2024 election, beating Donald Trump in the most recent poll by two points and a shift of independent voters by 11 points from the previous iteration of the poll post Donald Trump's conviction. So what did Donald Trump do as he knew this poll was going to be released and shatter the one thing he talks about over and over again? If it's not fake crowd sizes, it's talking about polls that come out from organizations like Fox. Oh, Donald Trump's got to attack Fox and say that nobody should ever trust it. That's where Donald Trump's going now. He posts the following. He goes, nobody can ever trust Fox News, and I am one of them. Let me just can pause there and think about this. Fox had to settle a defamation case for nearly $1 billion for lying on Donald Trump's behalf and spreading Donald Trump's lies knowingly, willfully, and maliciously. And because they were releasing a poll that shows President Biden leading by two and Donald Trump down by two, Donald Trump goes, nobody can ever trust Fox News and I'm one of them. With the weak and ineffective Rhino, Paul Ryan on its board of directors, he's a total lightweight, a failed and pathetic speaker of the house and a very disloyal person. Romney was bad, but Paul Ryan made him look worse. As a team, they never had a chance. Rupert and Lachlan, get that dog off your board. You don't need him. All you need is Trump. Make America great again. Notable, no, just think about it. He's calling the former Republican Speaker of the House. The former top Republican, Trump calls him a dog, disloyal, pathetic, and a lightweight all in one post. Notably, when you look at the polling data from Fox, the issues that are top of mind. Number one, preservation and protection of our democracy. That's the number one issue among voters. And that tells you they know that Donald Trump is trying to turn our country into a Donald Trump dictatorship and trying to normalize posts like that. Also, one of the major issues amongst the electorate, according to the Fox poll, normalcy normalcy. And posts like this ain't normal. You also have Donald Trump attacking uh, the leader of the Freedom Caucus, Bob Good, who's trailing slightly in the Virginia primary because Donald Trump kept on posting over and over again that Bob Good, mind you, is the person who Donald Trump dressed up in the red tie made Bob Good go through the humiliating ritual of showing up at Trump's criminal trial and saying that the judge's daughter is this and the jury's unfair and it's all rigged. So Donald Trump makes Bob Good, again, Republican who chairs the House Freedom Caucus, show up, humiliates him, and then says the next day, and then over and over and over again each day thereafter, Bob Good is bad for Virginia, do not vote for him, because Bob Good endorsed Donald endorsed Ron DeSantis. And so Donald Trump could not uh, tolerate that, and he demands obedience. By the way, you also have Donald Trump attacking the business community over and over again. He says that if you're a business leader, and you're not 100% behind Donald Trump, then you need to be fired. Who says that? I mean, that's quite literally what fascism is. <laughs> what, what, you're, you're going to what? Take control of the businesses, Donald Trump, if they don't show absolute obedience to you? And then he has people like Laura Loomer posting these like horrific things. The anti-Trump, this is like, this is Trump's go-to influencer. Like Laura Loomer is one of the top people now in the Republican Party and she attacks Fox, of course, with these polls coming out. She goes, the anti-Trump GOP reps can always go suck Rupert Murdoch's C-word, though for a spot on the board of Fox News since they don't want to be loyal to Trump. So apparently if you put out a poll that's not favorable to Trump and if you don't show 100% obedience, 
Donald Trump has Laura Loomer, who he says, I'm going to get you loomered. He says, you don't want to be loomered. That's one of the things he says. And then she goes that if you are an anti-Trump GOPer, then you could go and suck Rupert Murdoch's C-word. Again, the constant cursing over and over again. They go to the church and they curse at a church over and over again. They're chanting the words, I'm not going to say it, but BS over and over again. They go to youth events and they curse and they chant this curse word and that curse word. Donald Trump uses the F word all the time in his speech. I mean, it's probably the least of the concerns. <laughs> I mean, in terms of the fact that Donald Trump wants to overthrow uh, our democracy and wants to appoint himself a dictator, but it's it's symptomatic. I, I, I still think it's a very serious thing that it's reflective of the out of control nature of what's happening, that if it doesn't go their way, they whine, they say it's rigged, it's unfair, and then they just start cursing over and over and over again, cursing in churches, cursing in churches. And then they and then they say, look, evangel <laughs> look evangelicals, where, what, are you, what, what is going on here? Hey everyone, Brett here, your resident Midas coffee guy. Have you ever felt like the coffee you make at home is just missing something? Trade Coffee is changing the way you experience coffee at home. Trade curates a wide variety of coffees from the best small batch specialty roasters in the US and makes personalized recommendations based on what you like or want to try. The coffee is roasted to order and ships to you within 48 hours. Trade Coffee has completely transformed my days. I took their short quiz, told them exactly what kind of coffees I enjoy, and they've matched me with some amazing roasts. One of my favorites was the single origin blend sourced from Kenya that I received last week with incredible notes of brown sugar sugar and citrus. Every bag that I've received is a 10 out of 10. The coffee from Trade is so fresh and it's so convenient to never have to worry about running out of coffee because I always know my next bag is going to be shipped right to my door. And you know when it comes to coffee, I would only vouch for the absolute best. Whether you're into hot or iced coffee, dark roasts, espressos, or cold brew, Trade has you covered. Plus, coffee from Trade makes a great gift. Give Trade a try this summer. Right now, they're offering 30% off your first order when you visit drinktrade.com slash Midas and subscribe. That's drinktrade.com slash Midas for 30% off your subscription order. One more time, drinktrade.com slash Midas, M-E-I-D-A-S. So that's what Donald Trump's doing. Uh, what's President Biden doing? Uh, President Biden's making some fairly normal posts. A Juneteenth history lesson for Donald Trump. Juneteenth is about celebrating our history, President Biden writes. Yet Donald Trump thinks so little of black voters that he thinks we'll forget this. From embracing white supremacists to calling for the death penalty for the innocent Central Park Five, and promoting racist conspiracies about Barack Obama, racism is the single through line of Donald Trump's life and career. The best thing Donald Trump ever did for black people was lose to Joe Biden four years ago, the Biden-Harris campaign writes. No amount of pandering erases the real harm he's caused black communities across the country or the fact that he'll hurt more black people if he wins a second term. After a lifetime of racism, and in honor of the holiday, the least Trump could do is give black America a day off from his campaign's racist, empty pandering. Black voters have had enough and they're ready to put an end to Trump's candidacy this November. And I think that's so well said. That's one of the things that President Biden's been uh, posting today. Um, you also have, uh, by the way, take a look at this list that was prepared by uh, Alex Cole. I think it's, it's uh, important. Trump appointed 53 appeals court judges, zero were black. No black senior White House staff, first without a Hispanic since Reagan in the Trump administration, rolled back guidelines protecting students of color from discriminatory discipline, executive orders chilled corporate diversity efforts, tax reforms left behind most African-American and Latino families, cut $21 million from tribal law enforcement resources, halted Obama-era wage discrimination data collection impacting women of color, proposed eliminating the minority business development agency, targeted diversity hiring by federal contractors, pardoned Sheriff Arpaio, who was convicted of illegal racial profiling. On the other hand, President uh, Biden posted the following. 
appointed a historic number of black federal court judges. Trump appointed zero. Um, the Biden administration appointed a record amount of black appeals judges. Um, and for Trump, it was absolutely zero. Meanwhile, you have Fox just completely whining and saying, and again, they're, they're setting up for excuses for Donald Trump performing horribly at uh, the debate. Let me show you right now what Hannity was saying last night. And again, it's all projection and confession. They tell on themselves with this stuff. Here, play this clip. All right, we are only eight days away from the first presidential debate, and I think it is past time for the moderators, you know, fake Jake Tapper on fake news CNN, fake Dana Bash, uh, to get their network in check. Because right now, we are witnessing North Korea levels of nothing but outright propaganda. And as you can see, they're not doing journalism. They lie, they say they're journalists. No, they're not. They're state-run media. They're certainly not holding truth to power. The state-run media is simply repeating White House talking points, all in what is a desperate attempt to defend their chosen candidate. Take a look. I mean, how pathetic can you get right there? Uh, President Biden also says, fact check, Biden, not Trump, has record low for black unemployment and poverty. I think that's important as well. Um, but Donald Trump clearly, clearly reeling right now. And just think about the level of like, with this horrific Fox poll, like what they have to do. They bring on this guy, Doug Burgum, uh, the former North Dakota governor, the North Dakota governor, um, and Burgum goes out there and he's like, we are currently living in a dictatorship. Right now, there's a dictatorship. And what Burgum attacks President Biden for is that President Biden issued an executive order to deal with the border because Trump ordered that there not be a bipartisan border solution. So he goes, Biden's now a dictator for issuing an executive order after Donald Trump blocked a bipartisan, just just think about it. I just think voters are sick of this and it's not a Democrat or Republican thing. It's just a normalcy thing. Like just stop freaking lying to us. All right, here, play this clip. Uh, under Joe Biden, uh, we're actually living under a dictatorship today where he's you know bypassing Congress on immigration policy. He's bypassing Congress on protecting our border. He's bypassing uh, Congress uh, on student loan forgiveness and he's defying the Supreme Court. I mean, those are the things that authoritarians and dictators do is they don't follow our democratic processes and they just assert their own liberal uh, view and that's what the Biden administration is doing. Just, I was thinking about Trump had posting these photos of the Constitution hugging him and the blasphemous photos of having Jesus on his shoulder. It's some, it's, we're going to look back at this period together and... I think we're going to look back at it. No one's going to want to be ever associated with this MAGA thing. But it's so important that we stick together. Team normal, team democracy. Let's We can set aside political differences, come together, and just call out this MAGA madness. I'm Ben Micellas from the Midas Touch Network. Hit subscribe. Let's get to 3 million subscribers together. Thank you for watching. Have a good one. Enough! Send him to the big house, not the White House. Get the new exclusive tees, mugs, and stickers right now at store.midastouch.com. That's store.midastouch.com.